Those who were killed in this airstrike were internally displaced Syrians, a woman and her two children. Their new home, a tent, has been destroyed. Whatever belongings they had, now rubble. They moved to Talatukan village in the southern edges of the rebel-controlled province of Idlib in search for safety. But in recent weeks, the region has been the target of heavy airstrikes. The displaced from Sinjar came here. The planes came and hit them. They are targeting civilians. There are no fighters here. Where do you want us to go? It's not clear if the bombing raids are being carried out by Syrian government planes or those of its ally Russia. But what is clear is that the strikes are only increasing. They are putting pressure on the civilians. They hope the civilians will pressure the rebels not to fight because the regime hasn't made major advances on the ground. They want the people to hate the rebels and the regime is trying to pressure the rebels to agree to a political settlement. The stepped-up airstrikes coincide with a ground offensive by pro-government forces who have been advancing from the northern countryside of Hama and the southern countryside of Aleppo towards Idlib. They entered small parts of the province, advancing into the administrative borders for the first time since the rebels forced them out of Idlib in 2015. An all-out assault on Idlib will not be easy. It is home to thousands of fighters, many of whom were forced to leave other areas seized by pro-government forces. It's still not clear whether the government intends to recapture the whole province or whether it just wants to regain control of some areas in the countryside. What is clear is that the government wants the Abu Duhur Air Base back. It is one of the largest military airports in the north. Turkey reportedly wants to use that base as an observation post. Already, its military is deployed in some areas of Idlib as part of a de-escalation deal. Idlib is supposed to be a safe area under that deal. The opposition now fears the presence of al-Qaeda-linked fighters in Idlib will be used by the government as an excuse to step up the bombing campaign. They also fear that pro-government forces are no longer busy on other fronts and are now turning their attention to Idlib. Zana Khudr al-Jazeera, Beirut.